hello youtube so today we will be implementing memory caches using c sharp so for this tutorial we will be using a console application uh, with all these configurations so let's create one we are using dotnet 8 for this example as it is the latest one okay so here is the program file so as you all know that this program file is useless for this tutorial we will be creating the uh, you know the usual classes basically let's I already have some snippets okay so memory caching demo should be the class main function is there so yep so let's create some of so for this example we are using object caches in c sharp okay so let's create one which will hold cache object so hey okay so this object particularly doesn't use new basically it is not a class or something and also we need to install runtime for this So let's do one thing. Okay. So we need to uh, basically what is that memory? Okay, cool. So let's see why it is not. Let's see if it has the so let's just manually import okay, it is not holding one right, so what we will need to do is we will go to new get package manager and probably we will find their c do we have yep system dot runtime we need in this project and we'll install the latest stable version cool it will ask you to apply and some more things okay it's installed cool fine that's fine okay so now that we have this cache object what we will do is for this particular tutorial i'll be using a list and i'll be storing oh nice so okay but this particular list will be holding this cache object okay so how do we do is uh we will be using cache and and that is we need to give some list like it should be a variable i'll be taking the list fruits and then we need to typecast this like as list and as it is we are not creating an object so we do not need to give this function type cool so now that we have created a list of type cache now we will be checking if this list is empty or not list not equals to or you can say if equals to equals to null then list equals to new list now that we are in Excel, we will add some items to it like list dot add so if so instead it is true i'll take apple banana 
I don't know whether carrot is fruit or not. So yeah, fine. So this all is in list, but how do we assign this list to this cache? Okay, so what uh, for that we actually need to set the variable list fruits with list. So how do we do is cache dot set since we need to set and what is the variable name that we need to give that is list fruit okay also the way uh, like the value or the variable we need to assign is this particular list okay now let's see what it is given cannot convert from string to this this this, this. okay that's fine okay so it is saying that it will accept some sort of key value and absolute expiration okay so there is something we call as an cookie policy so how do we assign that like we need to cache item policy okay then we need to assign time to this for much like how much time do we need this value to be assigned so absolute expiration is equals to okay so we need date time of set not now but we need to add some seconds for this at seconds and I'll be adding 10 seconds like for like what is it doing is it will set the cookies for around 10 seconds okay that also we will validate how not this but we need to assign policy cool now that is okay so now let's create a, a method to display the list okay so static void print no print fruits and okay so actually i already have this how can i display and here we need to pass the list okay so the actual list yeah that's cool so yep we can put delay as five for now and oops, cool so this will print now let's see if we have if this program is working so let's run cool so here is the list it will say apple banana carrot that's fine so now this that the program is working uh how do we see if this particular cache have the values of uh, like what we need so what we will do is now let's create a variable cache fruits is equals to then cache dot so if you see we are using set now we will be using another function of this object that is get and same in get we need to pass basically the key okay it will accept key so key is this <coughs> so now if you see this cache fruit holds the object from the cache 
okay now let's see okay cannot convert from object to this 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 okay so this particular method accepts list of string but then it is saying that this is an object so this we need to convert this object to a list string list so we will convert this is now i think okay cool so now if you will see this cache fruit will be called see now from the cache object you are seeing this data cool so let's see if this thing is getting expired or not after 10 seconds so for that what we'll do is we will create a timer function basically which will be called after every 10 seconds or 5 seconds whatever let's see how it works so for that we will be creating a timer function on time event okay it will take two arguments since it is an event type it will take object source i'll say and then it's Okay, the first one p e. let's name it as e okay cool so what this event function will do is it will simply will read the key cache key and again so for that what we'll do is we will create this object over here then we will basically use the get and then we will be calling it for print cool since it is an time function so we need to call it like so let's create a timer and So let's take five seconds. We will see if it is uh, sustaining the value after five seconds or not. Okay. Then timer dot. Here we will be passing the method name and then so for now it will be what. To, we will be resetting the values and then we will be enable it so this particular method will call this piece of code after 5 seconds so let's see if it is again holding the value or not what it just okay this will hold the screen i think there is something that i'm missing maybe Okay, it should work basically. Let's see and then Okay. And let's wait for five seconds. Okay. So now you saw that like first call is this particular method which is printing and the second one is from here on time event after five seconds so let's see what happened now after 10 seconds so what i'll do is i'll we'll same create timer 10 the best name that i can give and since i'm using 10 
so yep, after 10 seconds so basically what will happen after 10 seconds it will again call this print fruit okay and then it will check if fruits have the values from the cache if not then it will print no fruit form let's see what happens so first is this piece of code like here then again after five seconds okay we got the values from here from this particular event now okay so second time this particular event got triggered after 10 seconds and then we read the value from the cache it says no fruits found since the cache got you know reset it after 10 seconds which we have set here so yep that's it for this tutorial i hope you understand how this thing is working thank you